As we stand united in our devotion to the teachings of Christ, let's take a moment to reflect on the boundless blessings bestowed upon us. Each breath, a reminder of the grace and mercy of our Lord. May this day unfold like a tapestry woven with threads of divine favor, guiding us with wisdom and understanding as we navigate life's journey. Recent revelations purportedly conveyed by Our Lady to Mirjana in Medjugorje have sparked discussions about the fate of souls, particularly those of Catholics. These revelations, shrouded in mystery and intrigue, suggest a harrowing possibility, the prospect of a total fire that will engulf the souls of Catholics in hell. The notion of such a fiery torment evokes a sense of fear and trepidation, prompting introspection and contemplation among believers. As the faithful grapple with this unsettling revelation, a statement has emerged claiming that nearly 73% of Catholics will be subjected to this infernal blaze and will face an extraordinary event if they bear a certain sign. The implications of such revelations are profound, challenging individuals to reassess their beliefs and behaviors in light of the potential consequences awaiting them in the afterlife. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Prayer is a way to connect with the divine, to find comfort, peace, and solace in times of need, and to express gratitude and reverence. Through prayer, believers cultivate a deeper relationship with God, fostering spiritual growth and nourishing their souls. Now let's join and pray. O Holy Spirit, divine comforter and guide, we humbly come before you, seeking your presence and guidance in our lives. Fill us with your wisdom, that we may discern your will and walk in your ways each day. Enkindle in us the fire of your love, that we may be fervent in our devotion to God and to one another. Grant us your peace, that surpasses all understanding, and strengthen us with your grace to face life's challenges with courage and faith. Renew our hearts, O Holy Spirit, and lead us ever closer to the heart of God. Amen. O Lord Almighty and Merciful, we bow before your throne in awe and reverence, acknowledging your sovereignty over all creation. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the source of all wisdom, power, and love. We come to you in prayer, seeking your grace and guidance, for we are but humble servants in need of your strength and wisdom. Grant us, O Lord, the courage to face life's challenges with faith and perseverance, and the wisdom to discern your will in all things. Fill our hearts with your love and compassion, that we may reflect your light in a world filled with darkness. Grant us your peace, which surpasses all understanding, and let your presence be our constant comfort and guide. Amidst the uncertainty and apprehension surrounding these revelations, believers are urged to seek spiritual guidance and discernment, striving to lead lives of virtue and righteousness by their faith. Now the message will be shared with all of you. Beloved children of our Lord King Jesus Christ, St. Michael, the Archangel, come to you with a message of hope and strength in these challenging times. As the protector and defender of the faith, I stand before you, ready to guide and support you in your spiritual journey. Know that you are not alone in your struggles. I am here, along with the heavenly hosts, to fight alongside you against the forces of darkness and evil. Trust in the power of prayer and the divine protection that surrounds you. Hold fast to your faith and remain steadfast in your devotion to God. In times of doubt and uncertainty, turn to prayer 
and seek refuge in the loving embrace of our Lord. He is your strength and your shield, and He will never abandon you. 73% of Catholics will witness something strange in their dream. They will experience the night of hell in their home. A night in which Catholics will dream about hell will be filled with eerie and unsettling imagery, evoking a sense of fear and dread. In the dream, they will find themselves navigating through a dark and desolate landscape where flames will lick at the edges of their vision and the air will be thick with a stench of sulfur. The ground beneath their feet will feel hot and treacherous, as if it could give way at any moment, plunging them into the depths below. As they journey deeper into this nightmarish realm, they will encounter grotesque and tormenting figures, twisted and contorted by the agony of eternal suffering. Demons will lurk in the shadows, their eyes gleaming with malice as they taunt and torment the souls condemned to this infernal abyss. Amidst the chaos and despair, Catholics will feel a profound sense of remorse and regret as they witness the consequences of sin and disobedience laid bare before them. The realization of their mortality and the fragility of their souls will weigh heavily upon them as they confront the terrifying prospect of facing judgment in the afterlife. Yet amidst the darkness, there will also be a glimmer of hope, a reminder that redemption will be possible for those who turn to God in repentance and seek His mercy and forgiveness. As they awaken from this haunting dream, Catholics will be filled with a renewed sense of determination to live a life that is pleasing to God, avoiding sin, and striving to walk in His ways. This can be a sign of darkness that will attack the whole world of Catholics soon, to force you to submit to anything they command you to do in violation of divine law. They want to quiet you and want you to be unaware of the divine warnings. I love you, I bless you, and protect you. Matthew chapter 25, verse 41. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Matthew 25 verse 41 underscores the gravity of the final judgment as depicted by Jesus. In this verse, Jesus speaks about the fate of those who have rejected God and chosen to live in opposition to His will. The imagery of being cast into eternal fire emphasizes the severity of the consequences of unrepentant sin and rebellion against God. This verse serves as a sombering reminder of the eternal separation from God that awaits those who persist in disobedience. It highlights the reality of hell as a place of punishment, prepared for the devil and his angels, but also serving as the destination for those who align themselves with evil rather than with God. However, while this verse speaks of judgment and condemnation, it also underscores the importance of aligning one's life with God's will and seeking His forgiveness and salvation. Now let's join and pray. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.